There's one, babe. Yep. A big old sucker. We are going to be heading down to Seward, Alaska, where right now the reds are coming in pretty thick. The reds are also known as the sockeye salmon. We're going to be catching these salmon in the salt water as they're making their way to the rivers and up to the lakes to spawn. Here in Alaska, you're allowed to snag fish as long as it's in the ocean. Snagging is a pretty simple concept and an easy way to catch a lot of fish in a short amount of time. And this technique it's not really going to be your finesse type fishing. It's exactly what it is, snagging. We like to use an ADOT hook for this. The pole we like to use, usually about six and a half, seven foot, medium, medium heavy rod. Another really important thing is the reel. You want a nice heavy duty reel, be able to take the line capacity of uh, 30, 25 or 30 pound tests and you want a lot of it on there. And you want a good uh, gear ratio because you're not going to be fighting these fish for very long. So as soon as you get one, you want to try to get it in as quick as you can. You'll go down there and there's going to be a lot of people. So expect to be around people. Sometimes you'll see like people up here catching fish, they'll go like bam, bam, bam. And there's just a school that'll move through. So what you're gonna do once you get down to your spot is open your bale, cast as far as you can. You wanna just heave that thing. Um, as soon as it hits the water, reel in the slack. So what I like to do, cast as far as I can, reel in the slack so it's tight, and then pull as far as you can behind you. So. You're gonna cast and then reel in your slack and then just jerk as hard as you can. You wanna get that pull to almost do a complete 180 back here. And then reel in as fast as you can again until it's tight. You'll see a lot of people that just reel in a little bit and then do short little jerks. I don't like to do that. I wanna get the full pull all the way through the water. Cast as far as you can. Real. Me and Jim got a dollar on the line here. First salmon of the year. Dollar on the line. Last year, Jim was the winner. This year, it's gonna be me. If you notice people are catching fish and you're not, uh, maybe adjust your depths a little bit. Um, throw it out there, let it sink for a second, and then go. Try different depths as you're going. Sometimes the fish will be right on top of the water. You'll see waves coming in and you can see fish bodies. So that reminds me, another important thing is to have polarized sunglasses. I got a fish eight. I got a fish eight. And these things are pretty intense, so you want to be careful. When you cast out there, get your jerks, but when it's close, you want to just reel it in because um, you don't want to be jerking it right out of the water right, right next to you because it's dangerous for you and dangerous for the people that are pretty close to you. So make sure you pay attention where your hook's at while uh, it's in the water. See you now. Keep going back. Whee! Whee! Good job, Chicky. We fish from the tide all the way at low to coming up. 
usually we find better luck as the tide is moving in the couple hours as it's coming up coming up from low tide to high tide i would fish from extreme low as it's moving up um, so if low tide is at 7 30 in the morning you want to be there right at 7 30 and fish till high tide or until you get your limit so that's what we're going to be doing when we're fishing or snagging out here in seward um, the limit is six per person. Make sure you check the regulations before you go out and have fun. Hey, 